Good morning. Everybody stay with me. Good, Good morning. morning. What is We're so glad yes. you're here. We're so glad you're here. We do daily vlogs. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day, especially because we got all these little babies. Hi. And it's a Hollywood Studios day. Heck yeah. Skyline. For days. We're also all SpongeBob thirsty. I'm right? loving Delaware. <laughs> it must. We water, water would be not. What is the quote? Water would be not. <laughs> James can see himself in the reflection. Oh my goodness, where are we going? Up, up, up. Oh, it was nighttime when we were on this last night. You can actually watch. Oh, wow. This is so relaxing. Max has his own new series on Disney Plus. So they have this giant Baymax here at the front of Hollywood Studios. So cool. It is a sunny one today, it's a hot one today. So we're just in the shade by like the Incredibles area while Grant and Peter get Joffrey's for breakfast. And Luca is loving it. Who is that? Jack Jack. Here's the setup. Nitro coffee, bunch of waters, cinnamon roll, apple fritter. Hey! Ooh, that Disney breakfast. Ooh, that Disney breakfast. Look at this setup. This guy's got it. Yeah, this guy's got the dream setup right here. See Woody? Yeah. yeah. First lightning lane was Mickey Minis, but it went down, but it's back up. But now we don't have like a time restriction. And we got a second one for Aliens, Willy Saucer, Spinny Sauces. Mine and Sarah's like favorite ride in all studios. And last time James was here, he was like an inch away from being able to, to ride it. He was loving Toy Story Land. Did you see Slinky? So I'm gonna go while I'm walking ahead to see, get him measured and see if he can ride it because if he can, Sarah's gonna go on with him. Let's go. You're tall enough. It's on <laughs> okay, let's go meet up with Mommy and Teddy and everybody else and let them know the good news that you get to go on Ailing Sterling Sponsors. You standing at number eight? Oh my gosh. His first Toy Story Land ride. Usually he just gets to look at stuff. All right, so Sarah took James and Grant took Violet and Luca on swirling saucers. Me and Christina are standing here in the shade and so Christina just gives like gasps <laughs> as I'm leaning against this rock wall. And this giant, is it a grasshopper? It's a grasshopper. I've never but seen. But it looks fake. It literally looks like a toy. It looks like it's from Galaxy's Edge. What? And it was camouflaged because I didn't see it. A messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dream come true. Being so patient, thank you. Let's go. We've been sitting here for a little bit, there's a little delay. You're being so patient.
This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. Look, Teddy got to me. She's not me to a Teddy too, so yes. they have a special box. That's actually who you named him after. Right. It's my cat. <laughs> oh, here we go. I've only seen this pre-show, I think, once before, maybe twice before. Employee of the month, Engineer Goofy. What about Engineer Jamesy? Are you so excited to go on the train? Check it out. Row one. Ooh, yeah. Testing, testing. This thing on. Can you all hear me way back in the back? <laughs> Welcome aboard, folks. It's good ready for a relaxing ride around the port. What could possibly go wrong? Hi, picnickers! Told you nothing was gonna go wrong! <laughs> Whoa, James about to pass out. <laughs> he's running in a circle. I don't know why he's doing it. He's never done this before. If this isn't vacation, I don't know what is. Popcorn bucket, pop water, waiting for the Frozen sing-along show. Life is good, right? Thank you, Uncle Grant. So we were just kind of herky-jerked all around. We were gonna try to get in Frozen with the fam. Um, but then it was looking like it was gonna rain and I did not prep the stroller for rain. So we had to go back and get the stroller. Then we put Teddy inside of it and he's asleep and so we were trying to do one man's dream, get some air conditioning, but they said we couldn't bring it in, even with him sleeping, which I've done before, but you know, rules are rules, I guess. Um, so now we're just by Launch Bay, which we've never looked at before. And they are doing the Visa member like special meet and greet. Oh no, Teddy's awake, so we might do that. This is just the perfect air conditioned spot. I nursed Teddy and now we're just relaxing. We don't know if he's awake or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. <laughs> he likes Megan. <laughs> he looks unsure. Oh, he's yeah, asleep. he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna see Frozen. So excited. I think you're gonna sleep very soon. Okay, we're meeting the rest of the family at Lawns Bay. But look at Chip and Dale are going to have another picnic. Whoa, how cool is that? I think we need to go on Millennium Falcon. Okay, let's enjoy that. It's definitely not tall enough, but. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Wow, here's our food from Backlot. James, he's done with his go-go squeeze. Peter got a Cuban sandwich. Got some chicken strips for Jamesy. I got a chicken teriyaki bowl. Looks a little lackluster, but maybe it'll be good. I'm counting on that aioli. And that's a lovely looking cookie. And Peter got some sort of ale. When on vacation-esque, you dip station-esque. Especially when here with Sarah. Thank you for gearing it up. We got buttermilk ranch, honey mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce. And did you say you said about the magical moment? No, I just said oh, it. Oh, Castle Chris wanted to make sure that James's stomach was topped off with this blondie, brownie, or blondie cookie. This boy was struggling to take a nap, fall asleep, and he was losing his mind at Backlot Express. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take him for a stroll. If you know how this goes, I walked from Backlot Express to the entrance of Galaxy's Edge, and he's already out. So, time to go back and actually eat my lunch. This guy's going off again. Nature is slowly healing in Walt Disney World. Alrighty, we're gonna hop from Hollywood Studios. Ariel. 
Nice. Brought James into the beach club bells to use the bathroom to change his diaper. He just loves this aerial statue. James, the boy's been unleashed in the gift shop. I wonder what kind of damage he'll do. Hey, not literal damage. I mean, like, if you're gonna get any souvenirs. Not destroy things, you nuts. Oh, man. James has been cutting a tooth all evening. So he's been a little, uh, a little feeling, his, feeling the pain. But we got, got him some medicine, we're gonna get him some food. We wanted to show you his favorite Mickey. And apparently he likes the foosball people a lot. Like when we were in North oh, true, 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 true. We got a Four Town fan over here. He was just shaking his booty. We have the music channel on in our room. And we're about to get food very late at night. Yes. Look at all these fresh baked goods. I'm at the Top Century Food Court cafeteria, looking to get our pick, waiting for my mobile order to get ready and I got here too early and now I'm like considering adding a couple of little items you know to it here it is here's 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 it all my pork sandwich we got a pork sandwich we got a poppin burger had it the other day loved it we got M&M cookies we got kids mac we got a apple slices for days. We got angry orchard. We got a Caesar salad for days. We got a baby trying with every bit of his might to climb into the bed to eat. It's a good book, huh? It's all about safety from Timon and Pumbaa. You gotta take it very seriously. You also need a bath. You're pretty grubby right now. Alrighty, we are going to watch our favorite Adventures by Disney channel and go to bed. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.